I'm on my way to IM on 70.3 Egner. It's kind of like my local race. Um, it's only two weeks after 70.3 Duisburg. Um, originally that wasn't planned, but uh, yeah, because of Dresden, uh, I'm doing Erkner two weeks after um, after Duisburg. I'm still feeling a bit sore in my legs, but yes, I am ready. Um, what's my goal today? Um, not to get cramped, not to not to slow down during the run. That's that's what I'm gonna try. It sounds like my goal when I was doing. I am in Frankfurt, but uh, yeah, it it is it is what what I need to do. Just swim like in Duisburg, uh, bike like in Duisburg, and run without slowing down. Then I'm good. Then I should be able to get personal best without any problem. So yeah, that's my goal today. Um, we are on our way to Erkner and there's a traffic jam already. Hopefully we're gonna get there in time. <laughs> so this time, I learned one thing from last time. You know, um, at Shamans is a triathlon, the winner of my age group had a mohawk. So, I got a new haircut. It's gonna make me way, way, way faster, especially when I'm running. You know, like, no matter how early you come to the race, in the end, always rushing, right? You never have enough time before the start. Probably the fastest. Oh shit, look at my nail. That's what happened when I went to Poland. I was on a beach chair and it suddenly collapsed. Painful, both physically and mentally. 
really painful. Oh, I actually I, I thought I passed uh, four under 4:30 by 20 seconds, but uh, official time on the tracker. It's not official yet, but on the tracker, the time was four hours. 30 minutes and 23 seconds. I'm sad. I'm really sad. <laughs> I think if I didn't, if I didn't do G school, I quite likely went under 4:30. I mean, I think no, no, no. Rewind, rewind. I think that experience of getting my legs totally like cramped up and juiceful was very good experience. So this time I kind of um, saved it, saved, saved my legs towards the end of the bike just to make sure. And uh, yeah, but um, I felt my legs towards the end of the bike already which I didn't have in Driscoll. Like in Driscoll, towards the end of the bike, my legs were absolutely fine. Like still really, really strong. Um, this time I, I drank um, enough. Like I even um, measured how much I need to drink in my mouth. So I basically took like 150 milliliters of water and put that in my mouth. So every time, um, every 15 minutes, I knew exactly how much I should have in my mouth. So I'm not gonna um, miss on carbohydrates on the bike. It worked, it really worked. Um, still, uh, from the muscle fatigue, um, from j sport my legs, hip flexors seized that on the bike towards the end um, so that was uh, quite painful uh, that's why I couldn't really run uh, so well um, yeah at one stage um, my left leg went really really off I, I really felt like my knee my left knee wasn't holding up so well it just went like whoop whoop uh, that was like during the second lap out of three uh, so I was running only with my right leg I mean of course I was running with two legs but uh, I was mainly using my right leg to go forward and uh, yeah um, for the third lap I got the rhythm back a bit because I I, sl I slowed down so I recovered a bit and I took extra gel, so I was feeling better towards the end. And I was looking at my watch and I thought, oh, I gotta really, really push my best to go under 4.30. I miss it. I miss it by 23 seconds. Still, personal best. Still, personal best time. So that's okay in a way, but I don't know, I don't know. Um, it's meant to be the last race of the season. I don't know. Maybe I should just have a rest. But at the same time, another Louis saying, come on, you can do another race in like four or five weeks and then, you know, Oh, I don't know. Because the thing is, uh, my rival, he, he was like way faster than me today. He's going to be uh, a teammate from next year, by the way. He said to me, oh, I told him for like 70.3 degrees would be a good choice. Then he said, oh, try the new one in Croatia. Because he was there for a training trip. Uh, that's so beautiful, apparently. So yeah, I have to think about that. I have to have a look at the course profile though. Um, for the slot, would be good. Uh, doesn't matter what kind of course that is, but for my under 430 thing, 
I need a flat course. So yeah, um, either way, I think my swim is slow as always, um, but I can maintain that level now. I've done 32 minutes uh, for the second time, so it's okay. Um, for the bike, it's okay too. Even towards the end, I kind of slowed down a bit, but I still managed to do 4.18. Um, I definitely need to push a bit more mileage for that run. So yeah, that's gonna be the thing. Yeah, um, I think I'm gonna have a, a bit of rest and have a think and see how it goes. Um, by the way, I will be making a video uh, when Berlin Marathon happens. I really hope Kipchoge is going to break the world record. Official world record, marathon record. So stay tuned. If you haven't subscribed, just touch on the screen and subscribe. Hit the bell so you get notification when I upload a a new video and uh, also like the video. So, see you in the next video. Henry Abu, Henry Abu, Miracle Mitte, Yawu, Matthew Bush, Alex Mitchell, and Ryan Tal. I was going to end the video, but I went to the slot roll down. Guess what happened? I'm going to the World Championships. Unbelievable. <laughs> yeah, so I'm quite happy. Um, I think I need to do under 4.30 in Finland. So this time really, see you in the next video.